And good evening, everyone. Critics of a government program think they have come up with a couple of ways to save millions of taxpayer dollars without directly impacting the services that are offered. This comes after News 4 exposed that your money is going to help fly empty airplane seats across America. News 4's investigative reporter Ben Briscoe continues our fact finder report live here in the studio with what could be a strong compromise. Ben. The 40 year old Essential Air Services program's goal is to create jobs and provide a transportation lifeline to otherwise isolated rural communities. It does that by helping to keep small airports open through subsidies. But in these tough times of budget cuts, many people are questioning if the program is overpriced. More than 80% of viewers responding to an unscientific News 4 poll say EAS is not worth its $163 million national bill. And now the people closest to it at our regional airports are coming up with some solutions they want Washington to consider. It's a story you'll see only on News 4. You need this and your ID when you go through security. In oh. Ely, Nevada, four people fly out of their airport on an average trip. Yet they're using this 19-seat plane. We seldom fill half of that airplane. Rarely fill half of the airplane. Airport manager Mike Costner says in order to get the subsidies, the government requires the airline to use this aircraft, which wastes gas and is more costly. He thinks that should change. It would not be the airplane of choice. The program hasn't had much scrutiny or revision over its life. And while Ely only has one flight daily, other EAS airports offer multiple flights. Merced, California has four out a day, which have never been all full. And that's another place to possibly cut. One of many, according to Merced Airport Director Ron Elliott. Yeah, I'm sure there's room, in the, like any government program, for cuts and, and improvement. It's Ben Briscoe from Reno again. I'm just calling to see if someone's going to talk with us. News 4 tried repeatedly since last week to talk to the Department of Transportation about why these requirements are in place. But we were told the topic was too sensitive for an on-camera conversation, and they'd prefer to just give us background information. And after more than a week of requesting an interview with Senator Harry Reid, a spokesperson sent News 4 this written statement from the senator, reading, I'm working closely with the Secretary of Transportation as they conduct the review of communities eligible for essential air service. I'm hopeful we'll find the right balance. Back in Ely, they're hopeful too, because if Congress doesn't consider these smaller cuts, guess would be that there's 10 or 20 percent to be saved there too. It's possible their whole program could be canceled. And we have been told that these ideas and a few others are currently being floated around the Appropriations Committee. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this and we'll let you know what they decide. Live in the studio, Ben Briscoe, News 4.